We're back. I'm in this corner and I don't know why. I don't remember. But I'm playing Mass Effect 3 and it's really fun. Let's go visit our boy in the Hopdoll. Welcome, Commander Shell. One moment. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. It's beautiful in here. Very bright and colorful. Or saturated, moreover. Hello. My two doctors that I've worked with in a second. I'm looking around. Can I buy anything here yet? Welcome to Serta. How much money do I got? I'll buy that. Thank you for coming to Serta. I'll buy that. How can we help safe? Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab no! out of Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came I wanted as to speak as to could. Michelle. We had a run-in with a Cerberus synthetic on Mars. Caden took the worst of it. How's he doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Major Elenko's resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. Come on, Queen. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Yes. Uh, don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still alive. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. <laughs> According to the Council, Michelle, can I talk to you? Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just down the hall. Yeah. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. Probably going to need more than that. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. It's been nice seeing you, girl. I always like seeing old faces. <gasps> a big sand! <laughs> Nothing going on yet. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Jim's gonna run around. Oh, I love the sunlight. Even though it's not real. You know, leaving this poor guy right here, he looks like he's about to get a, a colonoscopy. <laughs> Thank God I haven't had to get one of those yet. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Ooh, I like her head pattern. It's really pretty. Katie! Look at those pancake ass titties! Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. But since you can't tell me to get the hell out, either, I'm gonna take my chances. Don't die, Caden. You've got to fight. We need you in this. Seeing you in action again, 
it reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. <laughs> you need anything, Doc. Let me know. Come on, Kate. Fight. His little toe is clipping out of the blanket. And that's an order. Yes, sir. Can I go back in? Can I go back in see Kaden? <laughs> I used to make jokes about how his, uh, what do you call it? His face and neck were the only thing that were, like, super bruised. Um, I'm like, man, they really just, like, didn't put anything on his body, did they? Like, he, he got attacked. Where is it? Oh, my God, you see those textures down there? Wow, you can see that. Unless that's a reflection. Nope, that's a reflection. Never mind. Pardon me. That's actually really good, then. It, it was hard to tell from this angle. I like the architecture in here. I want to live here. That would make me so happy. Anyways, I used to make fun of uh, the fact that like it was only his head bruised, but now that I think about it, he was just whacked against the wall by his head and nothing else. So that actually kind of makes sense that only his head would be that damaged and that he's only sustained severe head trauma. Ooh. I'm gonna walk back and forth and do this little thing right here. It's a little, uh, you can listen to these Asari tell stories and stuff. It's just kind of like background. So the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry, no. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. Wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. Well, don't look humans behind you. Are our or in front of you. You don't trust them. No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? What, what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. How would you tell her what color her eyes are? Kind of work with her, you know? With that level of trauma. Can you go back? Oh, yeah, I think I have to leave the room and come back to hear more of the story. Too. We were deployed to Tiptree. It's a small human colony. We were supposed to help with evac. The enemy was landing. Just scouts, the Turian things, a few of them. Big ones. We were spread over half the continent, getting colonists to shuttles, wiping out husks. It sounds like you were doing <laughs> good work. Could I have a gun? I'd feel a lot better. Just tell me what happened at Tiptree. Okay, well, we heard part two. He looks sad. Anyways, part three. We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets called away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner and show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. She's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that Life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks. Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Quimna Memorial Hospital. So I'm in the shower with hot water and everything. And that's when Neyra came. Neyra was another huntress on your ship? Yeah, a friend. I, I wanted it to be more than that, but she had a, a medical condition. It's okay. It's in the file. The farm girl calls in to me that another Asari is here. I thought the shuttle had gotten back early. I come out in a towel and... And Neyra walks through the door. But it wasn't her. Not anymore. God, tell me more in one sitting. She's got this glow in the Reapers. They did to her what they do to everyone. She's covered in. I don't know. 
glowing. She reaches out. Her eyes go black. And she touches one of the farmers, and he just... dies. They panic. She rips them apart. Sometimes touching, sometimes opening them up with biotics. The humans are turning into... liquid. And I'm there, in my towel with no gun. And husks start pouring through the door. Goddess. So I ran. I got out of that farm and into the hills. I pulled the farm girl after me. All I wanted to do was live through the night. Nobody else could have done more. But morning came and no shuttle. Afternoon and then night and hiding from husks and those Turian things. The file says the evacuation team thought your position was overrun. So after two days, I still don't have a gun because those Turian things I can't use theirs. I realize that shuttle isn't coming. Not unless I get back to the farm and my radio. And the farm girl? She was with me. Even killed a few husks. <laughs> with a stick. So you went back to the farm. We snuck down the hill. We were hungry, filthy. They turned the towel into a kind of tunic. They'd cleaned up the bodies to make more husks, I figured. But there were still farmers alive. They were being held prisoner. And Neira was there, directing the other forces. I could see her. I, I got within 10 meters of her. I just had my gun. What happened next? I got to the prisoners. The farm girl unlocked their restraints, and that's when they all started screaming. The prisoners were indoctrinated. I think. And once the alarm was sounded? The Ira's eyes were black. The whole time, not just for a second. I could feel her mind from where I was standing. And the humans were in the way, attacking us. I used my biotics, flung them around. I... I'd been horrified when Naira tore the farmers apart, but God, I ripped them in half. And it felt good. There's nothing shameful about feeling an adrenaline rush during battle. I might have killed more than Naira and those husks did. She wanted them alive, to turn them. And I... And you survived. We tried to run, again, but we were blocked. And the farm girl? Her leg was broken, bleeding bad. I knocked down a wall in a barn with a big warp field. I was so proud of that. And we hid. They must have searched for you. I'm an Asari huntress. No damn husk is gonna find me unless I let it. But the farm girl who was with you? Her leg was broken. She was whimpering. And the I ride. I saw her through a hole in the woods. She was coming closer, with those dead black eyes. And Hillary, the farm girl, she couldn't stop crying. They were gonna hear. What did you do? What do you think? In addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you? You saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary... Oh, you idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Naira. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. The color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Could I get that gun now? I'll see what I can do. I think that's it. Let me try Welcome one more time. Oh, she's gone. So it is over. Time to go to the embassies now. Okie dokie. On to do what we are supposed to do. La 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 la. 
la 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 if you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems. They never fucking wait for me. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. By the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hag. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. <laughs> Everyone else is probably more in agreement than you are. Is that while the Reapers focus on Earth? We can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. It's terrible, but if we can manage to I guess I can understand borders, it, but you may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. If it sometimes feels it's like if it was one of their worlds, we wouldn't be in this situation. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. Yeah, I think they'll help when they can, I guess. But it always goes bad. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. Mm -hmm. We may have a spot in the council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Mm -hmm. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander. I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. Oh, see, that's a respectful I'm move listening. right there. Primarch Vidorian called helping. the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Vidorian undetected. So far, you've only explained how I can help you. It might seem that way, but the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. Thank you for at least helping a little bit. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. 
Thanks. And various resources will be made available to you. And see, there we go. Good day. That's some help. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. God, I feel like this is exactly how it would go IRL. Like, Earth and if... We, just in general. We would all just be talking and talking and not believing to the last second. Just like we are with climate change right now. We're in the find out phase. Could have stopped this a long time ago. The council. You saved their lives. And for what? <laughs> Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. <laughs> Valern is out of his depth. The Solarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. I should go. I'll be here. I had an interesting conversation with Regina. He wasn't insulting me the whole time. It's kind of nice. Let's check out my requisitions. Authorize. I don't even read them. I just hit buttons. Anything that's cool that I want? Not really. I like what I got. I guess let's chat with Bailey and get on with it. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jelani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. <laughs> She's so annoying. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. <laughs> Most people would see it as a move up. 
Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Hmm. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. Well, that's not what I meant to say. If that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here. That was here a little far. Desk. There are plenty of politicians that are wonderful. It's killing me about Earth. But you whatever. And I haven't been back in years. I was no, just I trying never. to shoot the shit with them. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I'm up to my neck in trouble, but if there's anything you need, I'll do my damnedest to help. Is the Citadel gearing up for war? Uh, there's a false sense of security here. Even people from worlds that have gone down act like they're safe. Well, I guess it's not just human nature. We all lie to ourselves to deal with horror. Anything important going on around here? <laughs> you kidding? With the Reapers running roughshod through the galaxy, it seemed like the Council is in constant session. We got more ambassadors and dignitaries here than ever before pleading their cases. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, really. Thought things were relatively quiet here. Well, compared to where you're coming from, sure. But the war is being felt everywhere. Your arms Millions going to your across keyboard. the galaxy have been displaced. That's cool keyboard, most though. most of them come here. It's really big. Must have you doing somersaults. <laughs> yeah, already allocated the bulk of my men to customs, but we're still overtaxed, cataloging and processing them all. It was Udina who made you a commander, huh? Yeah, he's become an even bigger shot around here. Got a lot of ambition. He suspected Executor Palin was conspiring against the Council and had me investigate. Find anything incriminating? Yeah, enough to arrest him. When Palin resisted, I was forced to kill him. Udina rewarded me with the promotion. And near as I can tell, being a commander just means I'm putting out different fires. You got loved ones out there? Somewhere. Ex-wife I lost track of, and... And a son and daughter. They're still on Earth. I'm sorry, Bailey. Yeah, I'm just like everyone else. I'm losing myself and things I can control. And at the moment, that means creating the illusion of security here. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. You too. Hope you find your family. Alrighty. What's on the roster for today? Oh yeah, I have to talk to this bitch. Oh, Jamie. Commander Shepard. What the fuck Commander do you want? Commander Shepard. Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? <laughs> How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. I think that's a much better way to go about it than punching her, even though punching her is We haven't funny. always seen eye to eye. No. But I'm glad you're on our side. I feel like you're a little bit too aggressive in the way you do things, but... Recent intel suggests that the entire I understand. Has been hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it, but they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here, with the elite of the galaxy? I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful, but it's not right. 
It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. I can hardly believe it myself. Like everything back on Earth was some kind of nightmare. Yeah. That's what I hate most. It's like this place wants you to forget that. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... Bud? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Y'all need to watch uh, Mass Effect Paragon Lost. It's an animated film. One moment. Uh, created. Sorry, my brain stopped functioning. Um, created about James's experience in the military. And it has a very good uh, story about what he's been through and everything. He's been through a lot. And you'll definitely learn to respect and love his character so much more after you watch it. What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with the show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room. And this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. I don't like you the lying idea. You give me two power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Sure, why not? Tell your producers yes, for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One foot locker. Aye, aye, Commander. I feel like they should make her more in-depth as a person. I really hate to, like, let's just make her really sexy, nipples poking through the dress, skin tight, just here to be fucked. It just, it just feels kind of mean. Like, I'm sure she's a much deeper, interesting personality. She seems like a nice person, too. I, I don't like the hyper-feminization. Or over-sexualization, sorry. Hyper-feminization is the wrong term. It's the over-sexualization that is kind of annoying. Gotta catch this kid. Come back. I wonder if I speed this up a little bit. It'll look really funny. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be very serious, you know, like PTSD, PTSD dreams and shit. But what if you're like, you know? Maybe I'll do it. One, one, this time or next time. Come here. Come here, child. When I first saw this kid, I just was like, what the, why this guy? Um, and I didn't quite understand, but like now that I think of it, I think Shepard kind of sees himself in him. Cause he's like, kind of looks like him, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it's not as deep as that. Maybe it's literally just, I saw a child die. <laughs> I mean, I can also have that kind of reaction. <laughs> he did want to help him and couldn't. And it kind of haunts him. Just like it haunts, uh, him that he can't save anybody, like, everybody. That's a horrifying dream to have. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I know. Are you alright? 
I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Yeah, I couldn't imagine just knowing like yourself, how many people Commander. are dying. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer. Damn, if We're anybody Alliance can just walk Army. in at any time, I was part of the how do you get some peace and quiet at night? After you turned it over to the Alliance. What if he's whacking it, you know? Someone walks there in. There many of us aboard when the Commander Shepard! Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI, fully self aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew <laughs> Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, E.D., and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? <laughs> I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. Computer lady voices are pretty sexy. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. I don't you need to know this. You can your messages at your private terminal. I know how to check my email. The war room houses a strategic command center. How'd you get that picture? specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on deck three. I think she's claimed that room. <laughs> and just a little bit. there you are. Still the same ship as before. It just flies Alliance colors now. Which is epic. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak Ow, to you at the VidCon. God damn it. God, so much talking. I want to, I want to shoot. <laughs> but that's just how Commander. this game goes. Typically, I skip through a lot of this. Udina updated me on your meeting with the council. I've played this game so many times. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Yes, sir. Hack it out. Shepherd out. Shepherd in, shepherd out. Put your right foot in. Shake it all about. Peter Hulk Punk and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. I can't believe the council won't help. Come on, Sarah. If 
Fessia was lost and Earth hadn't been touched yet, you can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own borders. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Yeah, I'd love to. Commander, come to check on your new recruit? Mm-hmm. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with this. <laughs> in any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I just want to ask you some questions. up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. God, we're still having to I pay really for like college the in the future. The lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents Oxford's were from London. Still around? They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. All right, I'm check my email. God, I have a lot of emails. You're welcome to pause to read on these. That one's actually kind of scary, like a real actual um, emergency. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Did I not get Samara back? I thought I used the right one. God damn it! <sighs> damn. Well, I've never... I, I don't know what's going to happen when we do the Lessius mission. We'll find out. God. Yeah, she just says, hey, thanks, bye. I have a VI doggy. Y'all can pause to read whenever. Glyph. Eden Prime Mission. Oh, I know what this is. I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick. Alrighty. We'll do one mission and then I'll probably call it an episode. I'm gonna pause real quick though. Actually, I think I'm gonna call that an episode. It'll just be the super talking intro episode. So yeah, I'm gonna call it here for this one and we'll do the shooty bang in the next episode, all right? I love you, goodbye, and...